Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the page object and looking at some of its properties and where to find its properties as well as some of its methods and where to find the methods as well. So let's get started. So in the last video we looked at how to use PhantomJS to take a screen capture of a page. And if you remember we first created this page object at the beginning of the file. And with this page object we could print out the object name, the title, and the URL. So now we're going to take it a little bit farther and we're going to look at some of the other properties that this page object has as well as some of the methods. So to find this information we're going to go over to the PhantomJS documentation. I'll leave a link to this page below. So on the left hand side you can see all the ones with the P. These are all the properties that this page object has access to. And if we scroll down a bit we can see the M's. These are all the methods that this page object has and the H's are event triggered methods. So on load finish, so when the page finish loads do this and you would write the code for in the method. So what I have done is created this phantom.js script that creates a, the page object and then it prints out all of its properties. I have a few of them commented out just because when it, what it prints out is a lot of uh, text that is really hard to read. So we'll run this in terminal. Run that. And there we go. So what this did is created an instance of the web page object and then went to google.com and then printed out all of the properties that this page has. So if we check we have uh, can go back and can go forward, which are just Boolean values, so it's either true or false. So these would be like your backwards and forward buttons in the browser. Uh, you got the clip rect property, which uh, would be useful if you're taking a screen capture of a page. You can first set the top and left position, as well as the width and height. When you call the page.render method, it will print out only what uh, has been clipped, essentially. You got the content, which is one that I didn't print out because it prints out too much, but it will just print out all the HTML code for that page. So that could be useful if you wanted to print it all out and then parse through it later on. Um, you have the cookies property, which allows gives you access to all the cookies that are currently set on the page. And you can use the add cookies method to add cookies to the page. Uh, you can make custom headers, you can see all the events that are currently uh, being listened for. You got all the frame information you can you have access to, uh, the library path, which just prints out the path of the of the phantom.js file that you are in. Navigation lock seems interesting. Oh, so that's cool. So it kind of just locks you to your uh, current page. The settings one is uh, useful as well. You can set your username and password so that it can automatically log in to your HTTP authentication pages. Set the zoom factor, so if you want to zoom in on a page before you take a picture of it. There were a couple others that aren't on this list that I found, and they're uh, the loading property, which tells you if the page is loaded or not and then the loading progress property which tells you how much of the page has been loaded so far and to access those two you just go loading and loading progress yeah so then there's also the methods that go along with these properties that you got the go back which will just send you back a page go forward so yeah I am not going to be going into any more detail on these methods because I'm going to be doing that in the videos to come. But for now, I recommend that you take a look at this page to get a better idea for what PhantomJS has to offer. So that's it for this video. I know it is short, but I just wanted to share this with you so that you know where to find more information on things we cover in this series. So make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all these videos and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.